In this video, I want to provide an introduction to the concept of independence in statistics. So I've already written down a definition here, which is that B and A, if B and A represent events, they are independent if and only if event A occurring confers no change to the probability of B when compared to its unconditional probability. So that's a definition, but what does it actually mean? So I'm gonna use this bottom Venn diagram to actually illustrate the concept of independence. So what we're imagining is we're imagining that event A has occurred. So if event A has occurred, we are now confined to lie within the sort of realms which are now enclosed by this red line here. And the two events are independent if and only if the probability of B occurring given that we're within A when divided through by the probability of A, so the ratio of this purple area to the area which is contained within the red line, is the same as the unconditional probability of B occurring when compared to the entire state space. So mathematically what we can do is we can write down this relationship. It is that the probability of B occurring given that we're within A, so that's that purple area there, when compared to the probability of A occurring, is in exactly the same ratio as the probability of B occurring divided through by the area of the total state space, which is just an area of one. So what does this mean? Well, it means that if we're in A, then the probability of B occurring is exactly the same as its unconditional probability. In other words, being in event A or event A occurring confers no additional information about the probability of event B occurring. So what we can do is we can multiply out this relationship to get the mathematical definition of independence, which is that the probability of B given A is equal to the probability of A times the probability of event B. Okay, so that's some intuition and the mathematical definition of events being independent. And I now wanted to take you through a few different examples of events which are independent versus events which aren't. So first of all, if we look at this top left Venn diagram here, this is often a situation which is confused for events A and B actually being independent. Here, I hope you can see that if we were within event A, so we're within the space confined by this red line here, then there is no probability of event B occurring. So there's no way in which this bottom relationship down here can actually occur. In this top left, we actually say that the two events event A and event B are what we call disjoint. Okay, what about this middle situation here? I hope you can see that if we are within event A, there is quite a substantial probability of event B occurring, at least when you compare it to the actual size of event A, or the probability of event A rather. So if we are within event A, perhaps there's a sort of 90% chance that event B will actually occur. Whereas I hope you can see that the overall probability of event B occurring is very, very small. So in this circumstance, being in event A actually does confer quite a lot of additional information about event B occurring. So in this circumstance, events A and events B are definitely not independent. Finally, let's look at this situation over here to the top right. I hope you can see that even though I haven't drawn this accurately, it might well be the case, or approximately the case, that if we were within event A, then the probability of event B occurring, which is represented here by this sort of shaded purple region, at least when I compare it to the size of event A, is probably not that dissimilar to the unconditional probability of event B occurring. So that's the probability which is represented, if I shade it in yellow, by this yellow line here. And in this circumstance, it might not be unreasonable to assume, at least to a sort of approximate level, that events A and B are independent. 